Hello everyone and welcome back to the festive season of 2020. Yes, it's a weird festive season, I know. I know. I feel weird, but um, currently it is the 23rd of November. I'm, I'm pre-filming some of these because I'm going to be back on work soon. But we are putting up our Christmas decorations. So we have had Christmas on all day. All the Christmas music has been played. We've listened to all of Michael Bublé. We have listened to all the oldies but goodies. Wham, my fave. My favourite Christmas song. Um, but today we're going to be doing our three looks, one palette using the Give Me Glow Christmas Morning palette. This bad boy here, this beautiful gift of a palette. I'm obsessed. I'm obs After doing this look in particular, this is my second look I've done with it, as in I did my first impressions, which I'll have linked down below and up there somewhere. Um, and then this is my second look I've ever done with it. I'm obsessed. This silver is immense. Um, the colour story is beautiful super Christmassy like it's like like a Christmas elf puked <laughs> and you got this palette so stunning I'm so excited to get into more looks I'm going to be doing a slightly more neutral interesting look um, and maybe a greeny kind of look as well I'm very excited the shimmers are beautiful if you want to see any swatches of all the shades then I have them in my first impressions which like I said I'll link down below and all the other places um yeah I'm in love and I can't wait to get through these looks I love my three looks on palette they're my favorite videos I just love them um this look will go up on my Instagram at some point I don't know when <laughs> I don't know when exactly but it will go up sometime after this video goes up so if you want to see all the details all the up close pictures of the eye and everything it will go up there so that is linked down below my Instagram go follow it and at the minute I am currently unboxing my or unboxing opening a day of each of my advent calendars on my instagram stories i'm only doing it there so that's fun but you have to follow it to keep up with what's happening there um and i've three i've my glossy box which is fabulous my nyx which is fabulous and my soap and glory which is an interesting i've never had one of those and i'm very excited about that so much fun so yeah that's that also hit subscribe down below to see more videos coming up i will be doing a palette bingo using this palette hopefully if I get time Um, I'm planning on doing something like that with this but we have two more fabulous looks coming up and I will be doing more stuff with these palettes these aren't the end of the, the me using these palettes I will go back and use these palettes a lot Um, I do an IGTV or something like that with them as well so yeah that's it little disclaimer before we continue Um, my audio at the very beginning of this video I realized my mic was on the wrong setting after doing all the red matte work before I did the shimmers um yeah it got fixed though as soon as I noticed it which I didn't do the shimmers I did shimmers on one eye and filmed it but then I didn't do the shimmers on the other eye I fixed it you'll see what I'm talking about it's I, I apologize but it's only for the beginning and then the rest is perfectly fine so stick with it um so yeah let's get on with the looks all right guys so let's get started on our three looks with looks number one and obviously it's with the Christmas morning palette from Give Me Glow Cosmetics and I'm so excited. I'm gonna do a halo eye, which I always love. And I wanna use the red because I wanna see how, like if it's a true red or if it turns a little bit pink when it's on the eye. And I'm also going to use Stocking Stuffer and Santa Sleigh because I think that'd be so pretty. I wanna look like Christmas bobble by the end. And that's why I'm doing a halo eye because it'll give that rounded kind of effect and I'm very excited about it. So let's get straight in. I have my base products on. It's all listed down below. My forehead isn't set. And the reason for that is it's not a, it's, it's a weird thing. I've set everything from here down. <laughs> Um, with powder but not up here because I raise my eyebrows sometimes and my creases happen so I don't set my forehead all the time so that way I can just go in and smush it in but if it's set with powder it, that'll also crease as well it's a whole thing but whatever Um, so let's get straight in what I want to do first is we're going to go in with the red so for the red this is Cozy Fire and I'm going to go straight in with this first and we'll use the other colours to blend it out so I'm going to use my e.l.f. contour brush it's just like a very dense stubby rounded kind of crease brush and it's good for packing this sort of colour on and you don't need a lot because a lot picks up on the brush and this colour is going to go on the outer corner of the eye doesn't seem to pull too pink or pink at all really I'm just kind of stamping it on first just because I want to get it to look super red I'm then taking a small little bit of that as well and pop that just on the inner part of my eye. That'll create that nice rounded effect. Not going too far in with this shade either. I'm just trying to keep it more to where 
like the width of the brush is so that way I can fit the other colours on my lid and then just put whatever is like I've kind of picked up a little bit but very generously topped it off and we're just going to go through the crease just to get that nice rounded shape going as well and just connect both sides as well then I'm going to take this as a Spectrum B07 is it there's another name it's a blending brush <laughs> it's a big fluffy burning brush Um, just there's nothing on it I'm just taking that and that's just gonna go in and blend out oopsie blend out the edges it doesn't really lean that pink which is very nice I don't I obviously don't want it to lean orange either Um, it's very nice it's a good good red really nice and pigmented as well and not too much fall down from what I can see like none really and you can go back in and add a little bit more of that red as well just wherever you feel like you might want some extra maybe through the crease where you were blending so I've actually kind of started on this side but then I made a mistake in what I said so I have to actually redo it <laughs> the joys of YouTube Um, I'm taking that same red shade we're working on the lower lash line now and I'm taking my MAC 214 my small little stubby blending best friend um, and I'm popping a little bit of that red I've already done it on this side along the outer third of the eye it's actually gone a little bit further than the third and then I'm taking the same colour same brush and popping that on the inner third in here just the width of the way it is out here just making sure you're leaving a gap in between don't worry about blending and all that we'll do that in a sec okay and then to blend that out I'm just taking a clean fluffy brush this is just a, um, a, a brush there's no name and I'm pretty sure I got it in Primark just an angle fluffy brush but any sort of fluffy brush that you can have a bit of control with um, will do and I'm just going along the edges of that red and we're just going to slowly but surely blend the edge so I want to keep that gap in the middle of my lower lash line as well and make sure you connect with the outer corner of here okay I've only just realised and I filmed this whole eye with that setting on that the setting on my mic was on the wrong one and it sounds atrocious but it's on the right one now thank god I hope god I'm so oh oh and it's too late to even start again it's like 10 o'clock at night <laughs> um but I've done it all on this side which um I have already filmed what we're gonna do on this side because I just just copped it as I was about to do this side so I've saved it kind of but the beginning of this is gonna be a little bit off and I'm very sorry but it gets better it's obviously better now um so what I've done on this side here is we've finished with the blending and all that kind of stuff um, I've popped just a little bit of my Too Faced Glitter Insurance on my lid just where it's blank and there's no colour and then on the little gap on the lower lash line as well just popped a tiny little bit there. We're going to go in with a flat brush and I'm going to take the shade Stocking Stuffer which is the shimmery red and um, this brush is a 348 from MAC just a flat flat brush um, and we're going to start popping this on the lid just on the outer part of that little blank space right beside that red and then on the outer part did I say the outer part I meant the inner part and then this is the outer part on this side and just slowly build that up and we're going to try and leave a gap down the middle like we did on this side for the silver to go on and I'm just just with whatever's left on the brush just kind of feathered it out a little bit on the inner and outer parts into the matte red i'm going to take a little dab of the matte red just a small little dab and then just dab over where those two meet so you can always go back and forward then between the two to get them to blend nicely same in here just a little bit more just to help the two blend together then for the center part we're going to go in to santa's sleigh which is that gorgeous silver that I'm so excited to use which I've already used on this side I already know what it's like um but you literally want to do a dab at a time because this is a dab and that's how much is on my brush and that is a dab <laughs> it's so so shiny. like look at this I don't even have to dip anymore I'm not even going to because I already kind of have too much on it's like so shiny that's it that's all I need on on that side there and what I'm going to do is take whatever's left on that and we're just going to pop this on that little center part here I'm just tapping it just so that the colour really goes down there and then just with my little brush that I use for my lower lash line I'm just tapping over both sides of the silver on my lower lash line just to help that blend as well it is so shiny I'm so happy with how this is turning out I, I look like the Christmas bauble that I wanted to look like I don't know what lip I want to do I don't want to do a red because I've done 
a red and then I'd be doing a red in a couple of looks coming up so I kind of want to might do a nude and go from there but this is a detail brush from Real Techniques the last little step we're going to do is the inner corner and I'm just going to use the silver just because it's I mean I don't want to not use it <laughs> I want to just continue to use it for the rest of my life I would rub my entire face in it if I could um, and I can but I'm not going to do that um, but that's just going to go on the inner corner here look at that oh my god I'm only taking a little bit at a time and really working it in really working it in just so that I have control because this is the kind of shimmer that yes it's beautiful and stunning and so shiny but it'll go everywhere if you're not careful okay so that is everything I'm so sorry for the audio I'm so Oh, I'm devastated <laughs> um but anyway we'll move on and I'll make sure next time that it's on the right setting um let me move on I'm going to finish off my face I'm going to tidy up anything I need to tidy up we're going to do liner lashes and everything off camera lips and everything and I'll come back and I'll tell you what I have on my face Alrighty guys, so this is how we finish off the look. I went quite nude with the lip as well, so I'll show you that in a second. But first, for the eyes, I didn't do any winged line or anything like that. I thought I'd just keep the rounded shape and the winged kind of elongate the eye too much. But the lashes I went for do flare out a little bit, so I still get that kind of effect, but without any sort of wing. So that's that. Then for my liner, for my liner, I used my Urban Decay 24 7 Glide On Eye Pencil in the shade Cuff. It's a silver, matches the silver perfectly. Um, super bright, super lovely, love it. Um, and I'm obsessed with the silver shadow, so I can't, yeah, I just want to use it all the time. I'm probably going to do another look in this video with the silver. Maybe. Um, but see, I have I have some ideas. Um, and then my mascara is the Essence Get Big Lashes Mascara. My false lashes are the House of Lashes Lux collection in the shit or in the style Midnight Lux. Um, that's the box. Um, they're super kind of spiky, but with some smaller bits in between to make it look a little bit fluffy as well. And then for my cheeks, I used my Cheek Parade. Um, from Hula, it's just one of their things. They come out with these every year. Just They put in one or two different ones every year. But the usual ones that are there is like Hula. Dandelion is usually there. I used Hula Light um, as my bronzer, which is lovely. It's It looks so pale on the camera in, in this light. And it is really pale. And Hula looks like a normal bronzer. But on me, Hula Light is fabulous. Um, and then for my blusher, I used Rockateur, which is this kind of more neutral toned blush, which I it goes really well with the red on the eyes because you don't want to go too red with your blusher and um, if you're doing like a red lip or a red eye you kind of have to figure out a nice balance between them and then for my highlighter I use my Fenty Beauty Diamond Bomb highlighter in the shade it's a little bit dirty actually from my brush in the shade how many carrots it's the kind of white clear looking one it doesn't give any color just gives a shine super wet super sparkly and wet looking on the skin and I love it. Then my little lip combo is my MAC lip pencil in the shade Whirl. Super fabulous nude pencil. Best nude pencil in my collection. Love it. And um, my lipstick is gone. So my lipstick is the Flesh Pot lipstick from MAC. It is quite a pale nude um, which I love on me. It's not super, super pale on me. Like it's just a standard nude on me, but on a lot of people it is quite pale and has a slight pink undertone to it as well. It's still a super nude, fleshy kind of color, but it has a little bit of a pink in it. And then over top of that, I just popped a little bit of gloss on. This is the ColourPop Ultra Glossy Lip in the shade Atta Girl, which is like clear with like a pinky, purpley kind of reflex through, but you can't really see the reflex because the lipstick is on, but it just gives a really nice shine and I love the texture of them. They're very nice. So that is everything that I used in my face to complete this look. I'm loving my hair right now, by the way. Yeah, <laughs> I did a good job curling my hair. It's hit and miss sometimes. <laughs> um, that is everything using the Give Me Glow Cosmetics Christmas Morning Palette for my first look, but we still have two more to go. So let's get on to it. Okay, so we are on to look number two. And today I I already have like my base and stuff like that on, which will be listed down below like always. Um, I'm feeling a bit neutral in an interesting way. So I'm feeling about Chimney. This I've been so excited to properly use this. In my first impressions, I didn't. I kind of put a little bit on, but I didn't really get to fully use it. So that's going to be like our focus color. Um, I might blend it out with a little bit of milk and cookies, and then I don't know which one yet. I'll see how warm or how cool the colors look on the eye. Um, I'm either going to do a silver winged liner, or I'm going to do a gold winged liner. 
and I'll show you how to do that with just a glitter primer and um, which will be fun nice and smoky bit of a brown smoky eye but just with a twist with the liner you can always skip the liner if you want to um, and then maybe a dark lip hmm, I'm kind of excited for this so I've already primed my eyes as well which will also be listed down below and let's get into it so I'm actually going to start with that chimney shade I'm going to take that on a MAC 217 just a little bit at a time and that's going to go all over the lid just working it into the lid making sure we really get the color there so that we've no patchiness or anything like that but from my experience with these shadows i've not experienced any patchiness with these and i'm bringing it right up to the crease work that in there and then start blending don't blend it up too high because we are still going to use another shade to blend but i just want to get the blend started while i have the same color on the brush Okay, so while I'm using that colour, because it's all going to be the same on the bottom as well, I'm going to take the same shade again on a really small, this is a little lip brush from MAC, and it's a 231, I think it's a lip brush anyway, um, it looks like a lip brush, but I use it for my lower lash line, and I'm just taking a small bit of that same shade, and we're just going to firstly run it into the lashes. I am going to use my bigger blending brushes to blend the lower lash line out as well, but I want this for to get right in between all my lashes so I can get it nice and dark okay so now to blend this out and warm it up a little bit because it is I I think this color is stunning it's that real um grayish almost ashy brown and I really like that color but I want for this look to warm it up a little bit so I'm going to use milk and cookies which is a much warmer um kind of a caramelly sort of shade um and I'm taking that on a Ingla 6SS big fluffy brush mine looks weird because it's very old but I have a newer one there but this is my old one I just want to use it um, and we're just going to use that around the edges and just start blending this out blend them into each other so that way we get a nice blend between the two and it'll just look a bit warmer and I'm just getting the blend going first and then I'll go back in with the other shade if I need to you know add more of if it's blended away a little bit or just finesse it a little bit more so I've just kind of cleaned off that 217 that we used just because it's a little bit smaller than my big fluffy brush and I'm going to go back in with the shade milk and cookies again just taking some of that we're going to use that to blend out the lower lash line um just because it's it'll give me a really nice blown out sort of look and um, we're just going to go in right along the edge obviously if you want more control just use a smaller brush but I like a big fluffy brush because I like a big blend I like a big blown out lower lash line Okay, so I've just zoomed you guys in a little bit for this. This is how it looks all kind of blended and blown. You can leave it here, do a lovely liner, do a lovely mascara, lashes if you want to as well. Nice if you want to do nude or a dark lip. But I'm going to do a shimmery liner. And I think with this, let me just have a little look. You know what, I might do both shimmers. I'm going to do, I'm going to put the glitter primer down anyway. Um, so for my glitter primer, I'm using my NYX glitter primer. And I'm just taking a little angled brush. This is a cheapy one. It looks like a real Techniques one, but it's not. It's just a cheapy one. Um, and we're essentially just going to draw a liner with this um, to an extent. So that way when we put the shimmers on, it has something to stick to and it keeps that nice liner shape. So I'm popping a bit of this down. So just as you would normally put down a liner, obviously this is a transparent kind of product, but you can kind of see where it goes. I think I am going to do both shimmers just for the fact that I can't decide which one I want to do so I'm going to start with Santa Slay which is the silver and this picks up a lot so just do a dab at a time just so you can control it I'm going to do this on the inner half oh look at that that's so pretty so I'm kind of bringing it past where my iris is when I'm looking straight ahead it's like just past my iris um, and then we can blend the gold into that and overlap the two together taking a little bit of pajamas which is the gold this also picks up quite a bit so shiny and we'll start on the wing and work back then when they meet in the middle i'm just kind of pulling some of the gold over the silver just so that way they'll naturally overlap together okay so we're doing my eyeshadows i'm gonna jump off i'm gonna do the rest of my face do my liner lashes um well liner is kind of done but my waterline liner um cheeks and lips and i have a very exciting lip out i've been dying to properly wear wear um and pair with an actual look because i've kind of tried it on here and there but 
this is the time to wear it. So yeah, I'll be back in a sec. Alrighty guys, so this is the finished look and I love it. It's like Christmas winter grunge. It's oh, it's everything I love. Um, yeah, this is the lip I was planning and I love it so much. Yay. So let's get into everything that I used on my face for my eyes. I obviously had my liner done because the shadow was my liner. Um, and I just popped on my waterline, the Essence Long Lasting Eye Pencil in the shade rosy and goldy which is like a rosy gold kind of color but I think it pairs really nice with that gold shade and with the brown I think this silver I already used in my first look um would have been a bit like too stark so this kind of tones it down and makes it a little bit more smoky um my mascara is my essence get big lashes mascara as per usual I'll probably be using that for the rest of the year and then I'll move on to something else and then my lashes are the violet Voss. what are you called I don't care they're kind of they have a spiky like tuft in them and they've got like like thinner bits throughout as well so they can you can still see what's kind of happening behind but you can see it definitely see it when my eyes close so you get that little peekaboo effect and um, then for my cheeks I used my Fenty in the sun bronzer that one there she's beautiful and then for my blusher I use my Makeup Geek Cherish blusher which is a warm kind of rosy colour which goes nice with the kind of darkness that I have going on all the rest of my face so I just want to keep it nice and warm so I don't look too washed out for the whole look and then my highlighter like I said earlier was my MAC Double Gleam highlighter it's stunning and I put it everywhere it's all over my face it's on my nose it's on my forehead it's on my upper lip it's everywhere um, and then the lip, I used my MAC lip pencil in the shade Chestnut. It's just a super dark chocolatey brown. So pretty. Such a good lip liner. If you have darker skin, get this lip liner as like something to darken lip colours and also to act as your nude darker outline. <sighs> darker lips, darker lips, you all need them. And then my lip, which I've been dying to properly use, and I actually love how this looks, because it kind of has a bit of warmth in it, which kind of contrasts with the colour that's on the lid, but it doesn't contrast too much with the outer crease, like the blend part, or the gold. This is the Dose of Colours Liquid Matte Lipstick, and it's in the shade Chocolate Wasted. I got this because Beauty Bean wears it all the time, and I want to be her. So, yeah. <laughs> if she, she wears it and it's stunning, I'm going to wear it and it's stunning. <laughs> so and I love it this is my first time actually wearing it with a full-on look I've popped it on here and there but like this is a full-on look and I love how it turned out so yeah this is the look like I said at the beginning of the video that any of my looks that I post in this video will all go up onto my Instagram which will be linked down below so go give that a follow as well don't forget to subscribe um, and let's move on to look number okay guys so let's get on to our final look of this video but i will be doing a palette bingo so don't worry um of the give me glow christmas morning palette the most beautiful christmasy palette ever christmasiest palette i think anyway um and i'm feeling green today i'm feeling silver to kind of match my earrings so we're gonna do i'm gonna finally use gifts galore which they've actually now made into a single shadow so if you want to get just that color you can get that on there um, website we're going to use under the tree we're going to use Santa sleigh and I may use a little bit of chimney to deepen it a little bit but we'll we'll kind of see how we get on there but I'm feeling green and silver kind of emerald vibes yeah I'm excited so I've already primed my eyes and my base and anything that's on my face right now is all listed down below so you can see it there so let's start with under the tree which is this beautiful emerald green I use this in my first impressions which was fabulous and that's just going to go on the outer corner. And then just slowly bringing that into the crease. Don't worry about blending it up high or anything like that because I'm going to be blending it out anyway. And then I'm going to just slowly bring that through the crease. I really want this all along my crease so that way when we do cut the crease... Oh, green in my nose and um, when we do cut the crease it will have enough definition so it makes a big enough difference and actually just with whatever is left on the brush because I'm kind of liking how it's looking as I'm doing it and um, I'm going to start blending with this brush just whatever is left nothing more on it because I don't want this to get out of hand and I have a clean brush then if it does and then just slowly along all my edges here just very light pressure not pressing too hard with the brush I don't even think I need to use that clean brush because that actually blended it like a dream. Um, I just kind of went in and just 
blended it slowly I added bits in here and there where I wanted them and um, so now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take a little bit more of that same color on that same brush um, and I'm just going to pack a little bit extra just here because I don't want to lose the green on the outer corner when I do the darker brown the darker brown is not really that much darker like it's not going to be like using a black to deepen your look but it just it'll just add a little bit of dimension so I'm taking a kind of smaller fluffy brush. These are the BH Cosmetics Lavender Luxe set. Um, that one that I used first was a number seven. And then this one here is a number six. So it's a little bit smaller, a bit more rounded. And we're going to take a bit of chimney. The very dark brown. And this is just going to go on the outer corner. Like it does deepen a little bit, but just wouldn't be like going in with a black. So taking some of my P. Louise base, this is the shade Rumor 0 0.5. Um, it's not the light, it's not the white, it's the one from the white. It's very pale. If I wanted it to actually kind of match my skin a little bit better, I'd go for like a 1 or a 1.5. I'm just taking, this is a BH Cosmetics, also a number 7 brush, but it's from the Rose Gold set. So it's a very flat, skinny brush. Grey for doing a cut crease. And we're going to use this, load up the brush decently and we'll go in and just start tapping and i always start lower than i want to because i want to be able to bring it up gradually if i start too high i have to keep going there then so i like to do it slowly but surely and i just kind of stamp my brush along just so i'm getting a nice clean edge some people prefer to pull it and all but that can crease on me a little bit so i actually stamp just before I go in with any of the shimmers, I'm taking a little bit of that green again on that same brush and just tap over that edge there just so that we don't have too much of a difference between the two colours. It'll also help when we put the shimmers on, it'll help them blend a little bit easier as well. So I'm kind of going in a weird way. Originally what I was going to do was take the silver for the inner part of the um, cut crease and then take Gifts Galore, that one there, um, for the centre. But... I actually think it'll be more interesting if I do the gifts galore on the inner part and then the silver on the center. So we're going to start with gifts galore because I really want to see how this looks. I'm not wetting my brush. I haven't used a glitter primer. It's just that P. Louise base. And we're going to pop a bit of that on. This is just a small little brush that I have. I don't really have a name for it. So pop that on. Oh my God. Can I just say that the shimmers in this palette are one of the best I've ever used. I've probably said this a million times already, but holy moly. So I'm just leaving that bit blank for the silver. Then I'm not gonna tidy up the follow just yet. I'll do that when I'm doing my under eyes off camera. Um, I will do the concealer off camera, but I'll do my under eyes with you guys. So now we're gonna take Santa's sleigh, which is the silver, and I'm gonna pop that on the center part of my lid. This silver is one of the best silvers I've ever experienced in my life, and I would, challenge anyone to find me a better one the only other one that i would say would compare to it is my kaleido cyber bronze palette that has a beautiful silver as well and i would like to compare the two can you just see that can we can we appreciate that and then just with whatever's on the brush just using that to tap over where it meets that shade on the inner part of the lid and then also tap it where it meets the mat on the outer part and then again, just going in with a little bit more of the matte green, tiniest little dabs at a time and just tap over where that meets the silver. Just so that we're all getting a really nice blend and a nice gradient. So I've tidied up my lower lash line and popped a bit of under eye concealer on. So let's move on to the lower lash line. So we're going to go back in with the green and back to my lavender look set of brushes. This is a number 10. Um, and we're going to take that matte green again. Really tap it off because I have my under eye concealer on now so I don't want any fall down. And I'm just going to smudge that in to my lower lash eye. Make sure to connect the outer corner here. So then we're going to go back in with our green brush. This is like the best brush for this look. I, apparently I'm using it a lot. <laughs> um, and I'm going to take just whatever is left on the brush. And we're just going to go and blow out that edge like we did up top. Just to make sure the blend is all nice. You can bring it down as much or as little as you want. I say that in every video because people might be new. Um, I like my eyes dramatic and smoky. Okay, so I think I am done with the shadows themselves. My inner corner 
do I want to do silver? I might actually do silver. Yeah, we're not done yet. Not, not done yet. Um, I'm going to take the brush that I used for the silver and take a little bit of that silver again. Like the teeny weeniest little dab on the tip of the brush and also top it off. And we're just going to go in and pop that on the inner corner. I can always lighten it with something else, but I just want to put that on now. Because I think it'll just pair lovely with everything else. Okay, now I think I'm done with the eyes. Um, I'm going to jump off, I'm going to do a bit of liner, we'll do a bit of mascara, lashes, cheeks and lips all off camera. And then I'll come back and tell you what I use and the rest of my face. Alrighty guys, so this is the look. This is how I finish it off. So let me quickly go through everything that I used on my face. So for my eyes, I did a winged liner and I used my NYX Vinyl Liquid Liner. I've been loving this recently. It's been very easy to use. Um, and it's cheaper than what I normally use. And then I went in with my Urban Decay Primer. Okay, primer, I was gonna say primer potion. Urban Decay 24 seven Glide On Eyeliner in the shade Yuzi. Um, it's just a really deep gunmetal gray and I thought that would be nice instead of going for like black or green because that will be the default i thought i'd do like a gunmetal gray and it'll kind of go with the silvery tone on top you could do a silver as well which would be fun but i just want something a little bit deeper and smokier um and then my mascara is my essence get big lashes mascara like normal then my lashes that i have on they're not the longest in the world um but they're really nice and very like densely packed and very feathery on the ends and these are the what are they called the Kiss Lash Couture Faux Ming Collection and these are the Boudoir is what they're called I think yes it is Boudoir because it's the only pair that I have in that collection from Kiss I have a lot of Kiss lashes but that's the only one from that collection then onto my cheeks I used my Dallas bronzer from Benefit um like I've said before I don't even know if it's a bronzer on everyone it's a bronzer on me though then I went in with my also from Benefit Dandelion Blusher. It's a very soft pink. I love a pink, like a soft pink blush with a green eye. I don't know why. It's like my default and I love it. And then as far as the highlight went, I also kind of went with the cheek colour. So I went in with my Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighter in the shade Blossom Glow, which is a soft pinky kind of colour. Then my lip was a very easy decision I don't know why I kind of wanted cool toned but still neutral I was gonna do like a dark dark grey but then I was like no I kind of want something that's somewhere in between that won't throw the eye off too much but it still sits in that real cool icy kind of look Um, not that it, the, the lip is icy it's just it pairs nicely with the icy colours and this is the MAC liquid lipstick in this shade um, Cafe Au Chic just like this kind of grazy brown and it's very nice and i love it okay guys so that is the look that's how i finish everything off and that is our three looks on palette using the glorious christmas morning palette from give me glow cosmetics i'm so happy with this the quality of this palette is unbelievable like unbelievable i was not prepared for at all um i was not prepared for this silver or any of the shimmers really in this palette i think they're stunning um i've no duds i don't really have anything bad to say about it except fallout but that's the same with the grunge palette which i did in november um yeah i love it kind of love it and i would only for their shipping is so expensive i would have all of their single shadows i would have everything from them because i think the quality is amazing it's just that the shipping is a bit too much for me that's it so if they brought their shipping down that would be great for us european people and um, that would be amazing and then it would be so much more beneficial for me to buy it because the shipping is not as expensive the shipping is almost like half the price of a palette so i'm kind of spending a lot of money when I'm only getting a certain amount of things you know what I mean um yeah that's it that's exciting I love how this looks I love this look I can't tell which is my favorite I think maybe ooh, 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 ooh. I'm between this one and the second one actually the first one is lovely it was the, the red with the silver kind of halo eye I love that as well I love the vibe of this with this lip I think it's very cool looking and then the second one that I did was like very grungy but Christmassy because it was kind of to, in my head it was like inspired by hot chocolate it was all hot chocolate vibes Um, I don't know which one I prefer I like both I like both I was so sad last night taking my makeup off for the second look that was so sad but yeah let me know down in the comments below which look is your favorite do you prefer number one the red and silver halo eye number two the grungy 
brown eye with the glittery shimmery line around the dark dark chocolate lip or this look here which is the icy emerald tones with the silver pops on as well I don't know I can't decide um also give me a big thumbs up down below it's the easiest way to give me support and get my video seen by more people so simple give me a big thumbs up and also hit subscribe down below to see more fun festivity festivity festive kind of things coming up this month and also next year I have a lot planned let's just say over Black Friday I think I might be doing a haul video for Black Friday stuff I should because as I'm filming this right now which is actually the 25th of November because I'm pre-filming this before I go back to work because we're still in lockdown at the minute when I'm filming this um I have currently I'm waiting on five makeup deliveries from separate brands Oh, <laughs> I have a Juvia's Place order which has five eyeshadow palettes in it. I have my Shroud Cosmetics order that I'm still waiting on, which I'm not fussed about. I'll get that one, I get that, with the Butte, Butte, Butte Bean collab and the Arcana palette. So I have those two on the way. So that's seven palettes. I've also got my Beauty Bay order that I did for Black Friday, which was in that, I the palette that I ordered from that is the Beauty, Bla Beauty Bay Book of Magic palette. I'm not done. <laughs> um, I also caved and ordered the Be Perfect and Stacey Marie Tahiti 3 palette, I think it is. It's the, the latest one that came out with all the really, really bright colours. I ordered that. By the way, this is not all I ordered. I ordered things with these. So, except for the Juvia's Place and the Shroud. But with the Beauty Bay, I spent €190. Euro after discount. <laughs> after all the discounts, €190. Euro. Um, I also ordered two liquid shadows from Be Perfect and then the last one that I did was Colourpop I ordered the It's Toe palette and I would have ordered two more but they were out of stock and I'm devastated I would have got the Mauve palette and the Smoke Sessions palette I think is what it was called yeah there's a lot of palettes coming up next year and I also have palettes that I haven't even used yet that I already have here so I have a lot of palettes coming up next year and they'll be probably all shown next year unless they don't fit in to my timeline or to my schedule and I'll have to do them the year after but I will hopefully get them all done I hope we get the first impressions of everything and a three looks one palette of everything and maybe throw in a palette bingo here and there so that's coming up so don't get subscribed for that and also subscribe if I do do a haul which I think I might do it depends on when it all arrives if not I'll do it in January I'll see um yeah and also if you want to see up close pictures of the eye look face all the jazz of this look and the second look and the first look then my instagram is linked down below don't forget to hit follow down there i'm also there um opening my um advent calendars couldn't think of the word advent calendars every single day in december and um, i've got glossy box nyx and soap and glory and it's very fun but you won't get to see them all unless you follow me down below so yeah i will see you in the next video guys bye <laughs>